Let's be honest, we were all played. For the last 12 months, the entire tech world was convinced, absolutely convinced, that Apple was about to drop a bomb on the living room market. We had the leaks. We had the supply chain confirmations. We had the timelines. December 2025 was supposed to be the month everything changed. We were ready for the new hardware. And then, silence. Absolute, deafening silence. Apple didn't just delay the product, they ghosted us. And right now, millions of people are confused, angry, and wondering if they should just go buy a Roku or a Fire Stick instead. But I'm here to tell you to stop. Put your wallet away. Because what is happening behind the scenes at Apple isn't a failure. It is a trap. And if you buy the current Apple TV 4K today, you are walking right into it. The delay to 2026 isn't because Apple ran out of parts. It is because they are preparing to kill the competition once and for all. What is coming isn't just a streaming box. It is a Trojan horse that is going to redefine gaming, artificial intelligence, and the entire smart home. Today, we are going to expose the real reason for the delay, the monster specs hidden inside the new 2026 model, and why this device will make everything else you own look obsolete. To understand the future, we have to look at the ghost of December. Why did Apple let the holiday season pass without a new launch? That is billions of dollars in potential sales left on the table. Companies do not do that unless they have something much bigger brewing. The rumor mill hasn't collapsed. It has shifted. The narrative has moved from a refresh to a revolution. Apple realized that releasing a slightly faster box in 2025 would be a strategic disaster. Why? Because of the AI war. If Apple had released a box with the A16 chip last year, it would have been dead on arrival. It would have been a dumb device in a world rapidly moving towards smart intelligence. The delay proves that Apple is realigning the Apple TV to be the centerpiece of Apple intelligence. This is the philosophical shift. They're no longer building a movie player. They're building a neural brain for your house. And that requires hardware that we have never seen in a set-top box before. This brings us to the engine, the silicon monster known as the A17 Pro. This is where the leak gets exciting. The current Apple TV runs on the A15. It is fine. It does the job. But the 2026 model is rumored to skip a generation entirely and jump straight to the A17 Pro. For those who don't follow chip architecture, let me explain why this is insane. The A17 Pro is the chip that brought console quality gaming to the iPhone 15 Pro. It is built on a 3 nanometer process. This isn't just about launching Netflix one second faster. This is about raw, unadulterated power. The A17 Pro features a 6-core GPU with hardware-accelerated ray tracing. Ray tracing is the holy grail of graphics. It simulates how light behaves in the real world, shadows, reflections, water effects. It makes games look photorealistic. By putting this chip in the Apple TV, Apple is effectively launching a gaming console. We are not talking about Angry Birds on a big screen anymore. We are talking about Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed, and Death Stranding running natively on a box that fits in your hand. This is the moment Apple Arcade stops being a joke. With this power, developers finally have the headroom to port AAA titles directly to the living room. Apple doesn't need to compete with the PlayStation 6. They just need to be good enough for the casual gamer who doesn't want to spend $500 on a console. And with the A17 Pro, they are way more than good enough. However, power is useless if you can't deliver the data. This is the part of the leak that most people are ignoring, but it is actually the most important upgrade for the long term. It is called the N1 chip. This is Apple's custom designed solution for wireless connectivity. The 2026 Apple TV is rumored to be one of the first devices to fully utilize this, bringing support for Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6. Why should you care? Because the internet is getting crowded. If you live in an apartment or a busy neighborhood, your Wi-Fi is constantly fighting for space. Wi-Fi 7 is like building a private highway just for your data. It offers dramatically lower latency and higher stability. This means when you are streaming a 100 gigabyte 4K movie file, there is zero buffering. When you AR, eCloud gaming, there is zero lag. And Bluetooth 6? That is for the gamers. Input lag is the enemy of gaming. You press a button on your controller, 
and there is a tiny delay before the character moves on screen. Bluetooth 6 shaves that delay down to imperceptible levels. It also allows for more stable connections with your AirPods, so you can watch movies at 3 a.m. with theater-quality sound without waking up the house. This N1 chip is the unsung hero that makes the whole experience feel magical. Now we have to address the elephant in the room, Siri. For the last decade, talking to your TV has been painful. You ask for a movie, it gives you a web search. You ask for genre, it gets confused. It has been a weak link. The delay to 2026 is almost entirely because of this. Apple is rebuilding Siri from the ground up, powered by large language models, LLMs. But here is the catch, privacy. Apple refuses to send your private conversations to the cloud to be processed. They want it done on the device. That old A15 chip, it couldn't handle that. It would choke. The A17 Pro has the neural engine specifically designed for this heavy lifting. Imagine the new experience. You sit down on your couch. You don't pick up the remote. You just say, Siri, I had a long day. Find me something funny, maybe 90s comedy, but nothing I've seen in the last year. And it understands. It doesn't just keyword search. It understands context, mood, and your watch history. It becomes a curator. This is the Jarvis moment we have been waiting for. This feature alone is worth the wait. If you buy an Apple TV now, you're locking yourself out of this AI future. This brings us to the most controversial leak, the camera. For years, patents have floated around showing an Apple TV with eyes. It sounds creepy, but in the context of 2026, it makes sense. FaceTime on the TV is currently a clumsy workaround using your phone. A built-in camera or a dedicated accessory that integrates seamlessly changes the dynamic. But it isn't just for video calls. It is for presence detection. The Apple TV could know who is in the room. If you sit down, it loads your profile. If your kids sit down, it switches to restrictions mode automatically. It could even support gesture controls. Imagine pausing your music just by holding up your hand or swiping through menus in the air like Tony Stark. This technology exists. Apple has it. And the 2026 launch window gives them the time to perfect it so it doesn't feel like a gimmick. Apple never launches just one thing. They launch ecosystems. The silence in 2025 also hints at a refresh for the audio side of things. The HomePod Mini is ancient in tech years. It runs on a chip from the Apple Watch Series 5. It is struggling. The rumors point to a refreshed HomePod Mini launching alongside the new Apple TV. This isn't a coincidence. They're meant to work together as a surround sound system and a smart home mesh network. The new HomePod will likely feature the same UWB, ultra-wideband, tech, and perhaps a stripped-down version of that N1 wireless chip. This ensures that when you walk from your kitchen to your living room, your music, your podcasts, and your calls follow you instantly. It creates a bubble of connectivity. There is also the looming shadow of the HomePad, the rumored smart display. By pushing the Apple TV to 2026, Apple aligns the release of their screenless computer, the TV box, with their screen-based home hub. It creates a unified front to take down Amazon Echo and Google Nest. So what does this leave us? The 2026 Apple TV 4K is shaping up to be the biggest leap in the product's history. We are looking at a device that is 50% streaming box, 30% gaming console, and 20% home automation server. It is a beast. If you're struggling with a slow, laggy smart TV right now, I know it is tempting to just buy the current model. It is a great device, but it is a device at the end of its life. Buying it now is like buying an iPhone the week before the September event. You are paying full price for yesterday's technology. The frustration of the delay is real. We all wanted this under our Christmas trees in 2025, but Apple played the long game. They chose to take the heat for a few months rather than release a product that wasn't ready for the AI era. And honestly, I respect that. Because when this thing finally drops in early 2026, it isn't just going to upgrade your TV. It is going to upgrade your entire home life. TH. The strategy is simple. Hold the line. Keep your wallet closed. The future is coming, and it is going to be worth the wait. If you want to stay ahead of the curve and know exactly when the pre-orders go live, you need to be subscribed to this channel.
We track these leaks 24 seven, so you don't have to. If you found this video helpful, destroy that like button, share this with your friends who are about to make a bad purchase, and hit the bell icon so you are the first to know when the Apple TV finally breaks cover. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. My opinion on the product and strategy. Based on the trajectory of the market and the details in this script, the 2026 Apple TV 4K represents a necessary pivot for Apple, not just a hardware upgrade. 1. The console killer potential is real. The shift to the A17 Pro, or A19 as rumored in titles, is critical. The current Apple TV is overpowered for streaming, but underpowered for serious gaming. By adding hardware-accelerated ray tracing, Apple is finally trying to solve the chicken and egg problem of Apple Arcade. If the box is cheap, $150 to $200, and plays Resident Evil natively, it creates a new casual core console tier that Nintendo currently dominates. 2. AI is the real selling point. Streaming boxes have peaked. A $20 Fire Stick plays 4K HDR just fine. Apple cannot compete on price or basic video quality anymore. They must compete on intelligence. The integration of an on-device LLM, Siri, is the only way to justify a premium price tag. If this box can actually curate content intelligently, find me a sci-fi movie with a happy ending. It solves the doom-scrolling problem of Netflix. That is a billion-dollar feature. 3. The Trojan Horse for Smart Home the N1 chip and thread slash matter support position, this as the central nervous system of the home. By skipping 2025, Apple avoids releasing a product that becomes e-waste when the new smart home standards fully mature next year. Verdict. The delay is annoying, but bullish. It suggests Apple isn't just iterating. They are re-architecting. The 2026 model sounds like the first real computer for the living room, rather than just a content pipe.